had just five more severe injuries, one of which uh, was critical and transported by life flight. That individual was an eight-year-old child. These are types of situations first responders see every day. It was a bad crash. That eight-year-old, Ray Lynn Bell, died from her injuries in this crash in Gorham on Sunday. While her parents are grieving, first responders are processing. I wish that my mind could forget the things my eyes have seen. That's where Jeffrey Pelkey comes in. Your mind is trained inherently as a human being to shut those things off, and that's a big load for any human being to carry alone. The police officer and firefighter has spent his entire life as a first responder in Kittery, Elliott, and the Berwicks. Now, he's a police chaplain in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. When people trust you, they will share the things with you that are really tough for them, because most human beings have the capacity to relieve that. They just need the keys to unlock it. And so I like to keep the keys. He's helped his friends deal with tragic losses, including the death of Berwick Fire Captain Joel Barnes. He says the conversations that came out of that loss will help first responders for years to come. The health of these people reflects directly on their longevity and how they do their job. And if you have healthy, well-balanced people, they're going to do a far better job on the street. Now, Pelkey says that most of the time he meets with officers in their cruisers so that he's visiting them in places where they feel comfortable. As for the fundraiser for the young girl who died, they've raised $28,000, just shy of their goal of $30,000 for her family.